This video will provide a quick overview of the latest in efficient transformers, the long short transformer efficient transformers for language and vision. The motivation behind this is we want to do this attention operation over longer input sequences. Most of these transformers for natural language processing can only take as input 512 tokens and we want to expand them to maybe take in an entire scientific paper as input or maybe an entire legal document or the entire uh, pixel grid of images as input. So we want to be able to attend over more than 512 uh, tokens and this is problematic because the n squared computation of the current design of the attention layer so people have come up with these different uh, designs strided attention like the sparse transformers where you have say some kind of either local window or some kind of alternating pattern of masking out uh, the spatial grid of the query and value matrices we have low rank projections like how singular value decomposition can decompose say the query uh, key value matrices into the most salient uh, diagonal uh, row to compress it and then have that more uh, information packed multiplication or we have the low rank projections like this paper where you have a parameterization of it to compress the uh, project the query key value matrices into a vector space something like that and then we have recurrence like transformer XL or compressive transformer where you add the uh, hidden state idea to attend over say the last 512 tokens and compress that into the hidden state at t and then the next uh, 512 tokens hidden state t plus one attending back over the hidden state of t so these are some of these ideas of how we can attend over longer than 512 tokens to take in longer inputs for transformers so in attention we have these uh, parameterizations that blow up the input sequence into query key and value matrices and then those matrix matrices get multiplied together to do the processing of the uh, attention computation. So we might be able to take these uh, query matrices or the key or the value matrices and decompose them into the most salient uh, row in, in this technique like singular value decomposition where you can uh, compress it into this diagonal and then just maybe multiply the diagonals by each other in some idea like that. And then there's also this idea of strided sparse attention. This is the sparse transformers paper from OpenAI where you have this uh, stride. So you don't attend over the entire uh, this is the autoregressive task where you mask out the future inputs and then only attend behind you. Uh, this would be a way where you either set this local window so you only look at say the uh, last five sequentially looping it or you go up with the, how you're indexing the spatial grid of the uh, value matrix projection and then other ideas like having a sparser pattern so it isn't uh, contiguous like this and and so in these other ways of designing this sparse attention, this local window to apply the uh, attention on rather than doing the full matrix multiplication. So the idea behind this new long short term attention in this paper is to combine the outputs from a short term strided attention layer with a dynamic low rank projection matrix uh, transformation. So the strided attention only tends over this uh, filtered kernel rather than the entire uh, value key uh, multiplication. It has these local windows to attend over. And then the dynamic projection is where you take the uh, key matrix projection, compress it with a weight matrix that says, say takes a M by N matrix into N by K, where K is smaller than M or N by N into N by K and that kind of idea. So then you transpose it and then you multiply it by the original uh, value or so on, but you compress it with this parametric uh, compression operation. So it's kind of like this down sampling, uh, like when you have a strided convolution and you desample the layers. So say it goes from 32 by 32 down to 30 and 30. These kinds of ideas of compressing the representation with a weighted matrix multiplication. So then here's the next big idea is introducing these dual layer normalization uh, strategy in order to combine these two different outputs. So in the paper, they describe how these uh, the outputs from the short term attention and the low rank projection attention uh, have different scales so that it's hard to just concatenate them like this and not have this uh, misalignment of the overall uh, like very mean and variance parameters say if it's normally distributed but just generally like the scale of these parameters are going to be too different from the short term and long term attention so you have to apply these special layer normalizations into unifying the scale of these features for further computation into stacking this together and making a gigantic transformer out of it the authors evaluate this efficient transformer on the long range arena benchmark and these are some examples of different models that have been evaluated on this benchmark the reformer architecture linformer the long form which has a similar idea of combining sparse and uh, low rank projection attention and this other idea big bird and so on these different models for attending over longer sequences so these are different tasks like long list ops uh, byte level text classification where instead of tokenizing the uh, text input you leave it at the byte level and therefore you have this really long input without the tokenization other ideas like image classification on a sequence of pixels and then these uh, pathfinder tasks where you have this grid and you have to reason about uh, I think something about how to navigate out of a maze or some idea like that. So we see a uh, result on using the transformer, the long short transformer, 
performing better than these other models like Reformer and on these uh, long range arena tasks, as well as the language modeling benchmarks of uh, this NWiki data set, and then showing the parameter count with the Transformer LS, and then the, uh, the complexity that it achieves, and also the results with image classification. And this is a pretty interesting result, uh, achieving an 84.4% uh, image net accuracy compared to these other uh, designs. And it's not really fair to compare this to the, say the, like the true ImageNet state of the art, because that's using like a 2 billion parameter vision transformer, whereas this is uh, 39.9 million parameters and a very interesting different direction for the vision transformers and making them efficient rather than just scaling up the uh, this style of vision transformer uh, in the original where you chunk it into patches and that kind of idea. So a really interesting result overall. I hope from this video you're able to get a quick sense of this idea of having strided attention, which they uh, reason as short-term attention because it's this strided attention, local window attention, compared with this uh, dynamic projection, long-term attention, and then combining this through the use of this uh, layer normalization. And overall, just the state of this efficient transformer design continues to advance, and it's a very exciting area of research. Being able to attend over longer inputs would allow um, more applications. So thanks for watching and please stay tuned for the rest of the AI Weekly Update series.